the other thing that I want to tell you, because this is very much related to what we're doing right now. You know, I figured out that life is like a comic book, right? And it's a comic book, this is one of my songs, right? You know, it's <laughs> and I'm not saying about, because I've never read this particular comic book, I just like the pages, those turtles, whatever, right? It's nice. <laughs> It's a nice representation, but actually, let's, let's imagine this is your life story. All the events are already in this book, right? So we start here, this is the day one of our life, this is the end of our life, right? So I took one of the pages of the comic book. And let's say that this is the present moment, right here, right now, and this is the events of the past. Now let's say that one event happened here, boom, right, something horrible happened, or maybe a misinterpretation. It didn't even need to be a horrible event. Maybe we misinterpreted things, right? Like I said the other day at VBM, I know about this uh, woman, so she didn't have a great relationship with her mom, and she, they couldn't figure out why. So finally, searching her beliefs, they realized that when she was three years old, she was eating dinner, and she asked mom for a candy, and mom said, not until you're finished dinner. The girl never finished dinner, she never got the candy. The belief that was formed at that event was, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable. And she was carrying that throughout her life and the relationship with her mom was not okay. Once the belief was removed, the relationship improved. So okay, let's say something happened, the belief was formed. Beliefs and emotions are attached to each other. That's why beliefs are so powerful, because you believe it. Beliefs are attached to it. If there's fear attached to a certain belief. Let's say that the belief was, you know, money is hard to get, right? So there's lots of fear involved in that as well. And now we drag this from that event all the way through all events in our life, all the way to present time. How much money do you think we can have with that belief? Not very much. Not very much, because we believe money is hard to get, right? Yesterday I was sitting down with a lady, very amazing thing that she told me. She said to me, she said, you know, <coughs> She, we were talking about her business. She wants to improve her business financial situation. So we're talking about that. And then I asked her, I said, so where do you see these challenges coming up in other areas of your life? And she says to me, well, you know what? It's very interesting, but my relationships, like, I can't get past three months. Every relationship I was in, three months and then it's over. And it was always like that. And this lady is like 60 years old. So she's not like 20 or so, right? And she's been having this her entire life, three months and then it's over, three months and it's over. And I said, why do you think that is? And suddenly she starts crying. And she says, I remember, she says, I don't know if this is connected, but she said, I remember when I was a child, there was this boy in the neighborhood and we were such great friends. We formed great relationships. We were so connected. We did everything together. But then they moved away and I was crying so much. I never saw him again. And she's crying now. This is like 40, 50 years later, and she's crying. So what that event was telling her right here, when she lost her friend, was, you know, relationships hurt. And they're going to get over sometime, right? So it's too painful. And now she's dragging them all the way to the present, and all her relationships fail. This is, yeah, this is how strong our beliefs are, right? So what can we do? I mean, just the one thing is, what's the outcome going to be like if we are dragging these emotions, these fears, these resentments, all kinds of stuff with us? I mean, it's not going to look too pretty. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. right? be yeah, then we, we get disappointed. Absolutely, right? We can't achieve what we want. We can't get all this stuff because there's block, and this block is right here. So what can we do is this. We have to disconnect the emotion and belief. Disconnect. Now it has no power anymore. And then we plug in a better belief, a better emotion, something awesome, something great. And if we don't really have it, we can create it. And then we plug it in and then we take this with us all the way to present time. So if we disconnect the belief that money is hard to get and we get the belief, I am abundant, how would that change financial situation, right? Or relationships hurt from there into relationships are awesome and I deserve the best relationship ever. And then we go through that, through an entire lifetime with that belief. Will we have powerful relationships, strong relationships, do you think? Absolutely. It's crazy how fast things 